Hi everyone, and welcome to batch 198 in my freeze dryer. What I had, I, I normally don't like to mix batches. I, I like to do a whole entire 10 pounds of one thing, but this was after Thanksgiving and I just didn't have enough of everything to do one batch. So what I did was um, I put two and a half pounds of candied yams with marshmallows on two trays. And then on the other two trays, I had on each tray one pound, 12 ounces of turkey. So even though I didn't have, you know, an even uh, like two pounds for each tray, I don't, I don't fill up one tray and then see what fits on another. I just try to measure everything and keep it as, as even as possible because normally what I'll also do is when I separate it out, I'll be able to say, okay, well, one pound of turkey dehydrates down to 10 grams, uh, you know, so that I know, like, kind of how much moisture was removed and things like that. But on this batch and the last batch, I, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and um, put probably maybe half the turkey, because that's a lot of turkey. Uh, I'll probably end up with four bags of turkey. I'm not going to, I'm not sure how it's going to go. But as for the uh, candied yams, this entire tray is just going to go in one um, big Mylar bag, as well as this one, unless it won't fit. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to fit because I, yeah, I'll just have to get a bigger bag. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, here's what happened. Um, Normally when you do sticky things, uh, they stick, uh, like marshmallows and, oh, pine, not marshmallows, excuse me, pineapple. So what I did is on this time, I, I remembered to use my silicone trays, but I still, if you look here, how that goes, you still can't get that out of there. So what I had to do was use the pie, pie server and get it, get that in there and pry that up. So then it does come up, and this piece just broke off when I started prying it up. So when the silicone's under there, it helps immensely in getting things off. And I don't want to pull this with one hand because it's going to go flying. But another thing that helps to do is to grab the tray with both hands on each side and flex it. You know, left, right, left, right. You know, and then it also kind of loosens it. So that's it. That's, uh, I'm going to taste this marshmallow now. Wow. So candied yams are sweet as it is, but then when you freeze dry things, it does, it um, intensifies the flavor. Ah, wow, that one's hard. So that was a sweet potato or a yam or a candied yam. And they're delicious. If you have teeth, you could eat it just like this. I don't generally rehydrate things because my things are mostly for long-term storage unless I make them for lunches or camping. So uh, that's how it is. That's what it is. Oh, let me tell you the time. My freeze dryer ran, as you, I've showed you before how I do this. My freeze dryer ran for 63 hours and 30 minutes. Of that, 14 and a half hours was added time. And I've had questions on added time. Added time is just, my grandkids are here, the freeze dryer is ready, I'm not ready to do it, I add time. Or, it could be whatever reason, I have shopping to do, I have something to do. So this, this batch should have been done in 49 hours, but it ran, the freeze dryer ran for 63. So, uh... Another thing you could do is if you don't want to add time is you can allow the freeze dryer to hold your food. It'll just hold it and beep or not beep depending on how, how you have your program set up. But it'll just keep it so that it doesn't go bad. And I've also done that. I've let that hold for, oh, probably two or three days, <laughs> you know, and just hold because I wasn't ready. And as long as your power doesn't go out, you're fine. Although I have had my power go out and the freeze dryer come back on 
but I've also had my power go out in the freeze dryer say power failure. So I don't know what determines how that does it. But anyway, yeah, batch 198 in the freeze dryer was uh, leftover Thanksgiving, and that was uh, two and a half pounds of candied yams per tray and one pound, 12 ounces of turkey uh, shredded and cleaned per tray. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. And let me know what you prepped today.